I do it when you watch tape um, for your listeners is every time you blow the whistle, hit the pause button mm. and see Wait. see if you had an open mic. So every time you're doing your film, like my 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 you know my pause button on my Infinity Mode's worn out like Joey's was in his living room in 1987, mm. but it's you just wear out that pause button. So every time your partners or you blow the whistle, pause it. Say. Could he see that play? Boom. Could he see that play? Boom. Could he see that play? And you just do that. And when you do that, you'll learn, you'll see what plays you're calling that you're seeing and what plays you're calling that you're guessing. Because when you guess, I think the laws are average. This seems like we guess we're always wrong. We're never right. I mean, at least I wasn't in my career. And that's, I just really believe early in my career and I was taught early in my career the importance of teamwork and trust. That's great that you said that because a lot of times, well, we're told to watch film and study our film. What we're not told is exactly how to do that. Yeah, and there's a lot of things you can do on tape, like uh, you know, make sure you're 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 getting to stationary sequencing positions. Make sure you're creating open looks by you know by you know basic uh, habits of moving opposite players. If players moving to the right, you move to the left, right? You don't right. These are basic things when you're watching film. Are you creating good angles by by having good habits by you know um, by creating open looks by dictating your own angles or are you settling for the C look are you settling for standing behind it and being stacked on a jump shot are you okay with that so I I think there's a lot to be learned by tape. Yeah.